Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and it looks like I've fallen out of the news loop because I let five cards get by me without reporting their news. Some of them are important, some of them may not be. Let's take a look and find out. As always guys, everything down in the description is for your benefit. Check out us on Discord, check me out on my other social media, and check out Black Moon Dragon because he's a fantastic YouTuber and he's one of my good friends. Okay, to start this video off with, everyone, we have Eradicator Dragonic Descend Sim Singin Me. I can't even pronounce that. So it's the new Eradicator set, Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. And it has a new skill to go along with it. And it's Counter Blast 1 with Eradicator and its name when your G unit with Eradicator and its original name strides, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your Vanguards in a ton of turn, it gets 10k. In auto, when this unit stands, it gets one drive check. So that's going to probably combo off really well with some of the Eradicator strides, especially the Dragonic one. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah. Um, and its second skill is gen Generation Break 1. Once per turn, Counter Blast 1, choose a card from hand and discard it. At the end of battle, if this unit attacked a Vanguard, you, it did not hit. You may pay the cost if you do stand this unit. So for late game, it has some good pressure. It's not a GB2 skill, which is nice to see. And yeah, so this is the new Eradicator from set 12, the Dragon King's Awakening. Next, we're moving on to Chrono Dragon Gear next. And honestly, for overall what the art is and what I expected, this card is pretty mellow and I like it. So, it's a Generation Break 2 card, so you need to at least have G Guarder destroyed once. Soul Blast 1, choose a card face down with your G Zone with the same name as this unit, and turn it face up. So, you already need two. When this unit, this unit gets auto once per turn, at the end of battle, if this unit attacked, if you have a Gear Dragon Heart, reveal up to, the, reveal up to three Zodiac Time Beasts from hand or rear guard in total. Put them to the bottom of your deck in any order. If you put three cards, stand this unit, and it gets minus two drive, and it has a GB4 skill, which means you really gotta go for it. During this unit's second battle, it gets power plus 10k and plus one drive. So that is the new Gear Chronicle unit. Um, overall, not too disappointed with it, but I would have liked to have seen something more out of it. Moving on to the stuff I was really excited for. Supremacy Dragon Cleric Sword Dragon Revolt. Um, so the art looks amazing. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the coloring. But let's move into its skills and see how that makes up. Counter Blast 1. When your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you get two grade ones re are revealed. Call a card to the rear. Put it into your, put a card into your hand from among those grade ones and shuffle your deck. If there is one grid one, you can only perform the call. So that's his on stride, so you're filling up rear guards. And generation break two, when this unit attacked, choose one of your grid one rear guards and you may move it to the guard circle. If you do, and you don't have any rear guards, this unit gets plus 2k until end of turn. So this is actually really good because you can move a bunch of your rear guards throughout battling with us and combo some nice call skills and just power up your vanguard. Um, let me choose one. So yeah, during each battle. So during the first battle, you can move this up against like a 14k attack. And if it's the only one, you can do that. And I'm pretty sure there's ways to get superior calls off as well. I really haven't looked too much into it. But overall, I'm okay with the skills. I'm okay with the art. I'm kind of sad that this is what it is, but hey. It's okay, and I like this little translation. Supremacy Road Dragon Cleric Sword Revolt. It's nice. So we're moving on into the Stride, which I guess is better, but it's Supremacy True Dragon Cleric Sword Hell Limp. Hell, hell Limp. If you want proper pronunciation, go check out Black Moon. He does all the good stuff. Um. So it's Stride Skill. Auto Vanguard. Choose a card face down from your G Zone with the same name as this. Turn it face up. And this unit gets, when a card with a sentinel ability or G guard is placed on your opponent's guard circle, or this unit 
this card's attack hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do search your deck for the same number of grade one or less cards as the number of face-up cards in your G zone, call them to separate rearguards and shuffle the deck. So this is great for Luard. Not the greatest for Supremacy or Cleric Sword. Um, I don't really feel like a lot of these cards go hand in hand to first off with. The card art I love of this card. This just looks beautiful. Skill, I was sort of hoping more of a focus to Cleric Sword, but I don't see it happening. I see a lot of people probably going to end up running four of this just because you can replenish your rear guards late game. Especially if you get closer to GB8, which is a thing, but I don't see we're getting anything more. Now, I have read the next card skill, and I think it's the card I'm most let down with, but we're moving on into it. Drag Stride, er, Luard. And its skill is GB2 Ritual 7. Choose two of your rear guards and retire them. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, use any number of cards from your hand discarded, and this unit gets 3k for each card discarded. If you discard two or more cards until end of turn, until the end of battle, this unit gets plus one crit, one drive, and your opponent can all call grade ones or greater from hand to guard circle. So, after, you know, it being the main card art and making us wait until almost the very end of its release, this is what we get. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad card, but I don't think it's a great card either. Just it just feels weird to me it's a gb2 but with a ritual 7 which i understand i guess a competitive luard deck will get there really fast but i sort of wish it was like for every two cards you discard you get one critical and one drive to make it more of a competitive edge i don't know i feel like discarding your whole hand you just get 3k if you discard your whole hand you get 15 power one crit one drive and your opponent can't call grid ones or greater from hand i mean that's good but that doesn't stop g guards which i feel like we need more of more g guard cancelers like no unit grid one or greater at all so um those are my opinions i want to say but i don't know that comes down to what you guys think um yeah i wasn't too thrilled with these and i think that's probably one reason why when i first started reading them i didn't really report news on them but um, if you guys want to see more news that's a little bit more upbeat, I'm really tired. It's really late. The only reason why I'm still up is because of work. I need to swap a sleeping schedule over. So I'll be going to bed in another hour or so. But this has been all. I'll see you all later. And remember to hit the red subscribe button down below to catch my content. Hit the bell to get notified when I upload new content. And check everything out in the description. Have a wonderful day, guys.